Do you remember when you were a kid? You used to sit around before Christmas and you'd watch the TV programs? Okay, and you'd see these wonderful games that everybody's sitting around playing. They'd be so excited. They were all having such a great time playing on that little, that little board out there. All really thrilling for everybody. But what happened? That was what you wanted for a Christmas present. What happened when you got it home? You found it was just a board with a few little plastic pieces you moved around it. It wasn't anything like the thing that was advertised on TV. What I'm going to talk about is how we relate that to truth in advertising now. Do any of you know what is the biggest selling additive in the world today? STP. STP? That's a good, good suggestion. Actually, it's this little thing here. Heat. Okay, it is the biggest selling additive in the world. Okay, and I'm just going to show you why there is no truth in advertising. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sample of gasoline. Okay, we are going to add some water to it. The only reason this is green is because I put some food coloring in there, green food coloring, so that it will show up. Okay. We'll just add a little. You can see it at the bottom of the test tube. What I'm going to do is shake it up. Okay, Wait a couple of seconds, and there's our food dye. Water and gasoline do not mix. Okay, Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add some heat to it. This is in an, hang on, an easy opening bottle. That was very good because I've already opened it once and pierced the cap, so it makes it a lot easier. I'm going to add some heat to it. Okay. That should be absolutely plenty. We shake it up. Yep. You can see the water is still running down the side of the tube, and if you watch very carefully, it will separate back out again. So now we have the water and the heat separated together. It doesn't get rid of it. The gasoline will burn off the top, and you've now got water saturated with heat at the bottom of that test tube. It's not going to do you any good. If you put this into freezing conditions, it will freeze. Just the same as it did before. It won't make the slightest bit of difference to it. What I'll do is show you something now that we do at BG, which is a different component altogether. This one is methanol or methyl alcohol or methyl alcohol, whichever you prefer. It's basically an octane boost it can be used for as well. But as far as getting water out of gasoline, it doesn't work. Okay? This is our version. It is called fuel system dryer, part number 280. When you do it the same way, you take some gasoline, like so, just approximately about the same amounts. We put in our water. Shake it up. and it will start to separate out. You can see the droplets on the side and the water at the bottom. Okay, When you add part number 280 to it, didn't even really need to shake it up. There it goes. Okay, You have now changed this into a chemical compound as opposed to this, which is a mixture of three different items. This one will still freeze. This one will now burn everything through the system. Okay. 